As the country confronts a racial crisis, a reminder that our health crisis, which disproportionately affects vulnerable and minority communities, remains a threat. Take a look at this map of Florida. The areas in red highlight growing clusters of COVID-19 cases. One of the hardest hit Immokalee is America's tomato capital. The town has roughly 25,000 people, mostly migrant workers, who are deemed essential, yet living below the poverty line. As cases spread around them, many stay on the job because they literally can't afford to get sick. After just a few days of testing back in May, correspondent Jess Gomez reports cases have now nearly tripled. Okay, take a deep breath. Let go. Two weeks after being diagnosed with the coronavirus, Eloy Answalda is back and for another test. Well, Shortening the breath and that nasty cough that comes along with it, it's uh, it's not, not a nice feeling. A crew leader at a tomato farm, Answalda is anxious to get back to work. With no sick leave, the days without pay are adding up. I've been doing this for over 30 years now, so it's time to go to work. For farm workers here in Immokalee, Florida, the day begins early, boarding crowded buses that head to farm fields across the region. There, many spend long, hot days, harvesting the majority of the nation's winter tomatoes. Deemed essential during the pandemic, their work never stopped, and the virus, while slow to crop up here, is now spreading. Right now, over the last few weeks, we're seeing a, a significant increase. Muy buenas tardes, muy buenas tardes. Aquí. For weeks now, the Coalition of Immokalee Workers, a nonprofit group dedicated to protecting farm workers, has been sounding the alarm about COVID-19 and asking the state for more help. Immokalee, uh, it's like dry tinder on the path of a wildfire. COVID-19 is that wildfire and there there is the need to move fast. This is your part in reducing the spread of coronavirus. Sheriff's Department vans getting the message out in English, Creole, and Spanish. Y no estar en grupos mayores de 10 personas. And some area farms have set up hand washing stations around town. The coalition says it's not enough. You know, all the recommendations that come out, those are things that make no sense when you're a farm worker. Many here are migrants on temporary visas or they're undocumented with no paid sick leave and little access to health care. Diocili Salazar helping her migrant parents while home from college. People can't get sick here. You have to work. If you don't work, then you, how are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to feed your kids? For those who do get sick, isolating here is difficult. Many live in crowded housing with other farm workers. Only a handful of the hundreds in Immokalee who've tested positive have used the state's free non-congregate housing. It's more than 40 miles away. The Florida Department of Health trying to ease concerns. We're not here to deport you. We're not here to ask for your identification. We're not here to ask for any papers. We are here to protect your health and well-being. We know that some people are scared and they won't want to leave their particular area. At the request of the coalition, Doctors Without Borders now on the ground in Immokalee. It's rare that the humanitarian organization works on U.S. soil. The idea that you can get tested within walking distance of your home, where somebody speaks your language, really alleviates a lot of the, the, the fear, helps educate people, decreases the stigma. Um, tengo aquí que usted sí ha tenido síntomas. But until now, there were not enough tests to go around. With help from Doctors Without Borders, the Florida Department of Health just this week announcing regular testing will begin for anyone who wants one, symptoms or not. By the end of May, fewer than 10 percent of people here had been tested, and not before thousands more migrant farm workers left Immokalee following harvesting jobs in northern states. If there are no workers in the fields, because uh, people get sick in, in all of these farms, then who's going to produce the food? And the impact of the virus spreading any further likely to be felt far beyond the Sunshine State. In Immokalee, Florida, for Matter of Fact, I'm Jessica Gomez.